Sharp Objects by Gillian Flynn is the story of a woman called Camille who is a reporter for the Daily Post in Chicago. The newspaper doesn't do very well and to get a little bit more attention her editor decides to send her back to her hometown in Missouri to investigate the murders of two young girls. When she arrives home she stays with her mother and her half-sister and her stepdad and it brings back a lot of bad feelings for her. There was a reason she left in the first place. The thing that most impressed me about this book was the depth of it. It was very short but it just felt like there was so much more going on underneath the surface and so much more going on in the brains of the characters that you could pick it apart and really analyse it if you really got into it. Even though this is a mystery and it should really be the plot that kept me going through the whole thing, I felt like it was much more to do with the characters. The characters, I felt, were the strongest part of this novel. Not to say that the plot was bad, I really enjoyed the plot as well, but the characters were what kept me reading and what kept me engaged with it and are what I've been thinking about ever since. It took me a while to warm up to the story because of a combination of the pacing which was a lot slower than I expected to begin with and also Camille's narratorial voice. Somebody else commented saying that they felt the same way so I know that I'm not the only one. <laughs> Once I was into it though I was into it and I finished it all in pretty much one day. The only problem I had with the plot was the pacing towards the end because it was like someone had suddenly pressed the fast forward button and it just kind of went and it was gone. I actually had to go back and reread something that happened because I missed it. I missed the significance of it because it went by so fast. Other than that, I had no other problems with the plot. I really enjoyed the setting of Missouri as well, this small town called Wind Gap in Missouri. The setting does play a big part in the kind of psychology of the characters, so I thought that worked really well. I enjoyed the mystery in this and I enjoyed trying to figure out who the killer was but what I enjoyed more was seeing Camille's journey in figuring out who it was and the conflicts that she goes through as she tries to piece together everything that's happened is really believable to me. The characters were my favourite part of the book, I really enjoyed getting to know Camille and her mother and her half-sister especially and I really liked the police officer that comes in to investigate because he was kind of cocky and I really liked the interactions between him and Camille. Camille felt like a very realistic character to me. I think that's because of her contradictory nature. You can really see some of the ways in which the town has embedded itself into her psychology as well. So for example she really hates the way that people judge each other in the town but quite often she'll meet a character and she'll judge them based on their appearance straight away and she'll kind of make assumptions about them. It's quite subtle but I thought it was a really interesting part of her character. I thought it was especially obvious that Camille hadn't completely let go of this past when she was put with another of the characters who is a police officer brought in from a different place. So he's a complete outsider and when you see their interactions together and the way they look at the town you can really see that she hasn't completely let go and in some ways she still is part of this town. There's this discussion that happens between the police officer and Camille that really highlights the fact that sometimes the culture that you grow up in never quite leaves you and sometimes the beliefs that that culture instills in you is really hard to break out of and if you've read the book you'll know what I'm talking about I think. In the same way that Camille can't seem to escape this town, she also can't seem to escape her family. Straight away in this book you can see that the family dynamics aren't right. The way the family interacts with each other is so cold and distant sometimes that it almost felt like Camille was just a stranger who was lodging overnight or something and not actually related to them at all. And once you see that you start to understand why she didn't want to go back to this town in the first place. Another thing I've been thinking about a lot since I've read this book is having a kind of second identity. So in Camille's case she has her identity as a reporter in Chicago and she has her identity as 
a girl who grew up in this town in Missouri. Coming back mashes the two identities together and she goes through a lot of pain trying to reconcile both of those people that she is. Her half-sister Amma also struggles with these two separate identities. So at home with her mother and her father she acts very young for her age whereas when she's with her friends she acts a lot older than she is. I thought this book was very much about the damage that we can do to ourselves and that we can do to other people over time. The way it manifests in them and then the way it's passed forward and then so on and so forth. It's like a circle of damage. <laughs> I noticed in this book as well that there were a lot of kind of vampire-y references and I really enjoyed that because it just, I don't know, it doesn't really add much depth but it just adds like a little string of connections. The book has nothing to do with vampires or the supernatural, it's just kind of running imagery throughout the book. This is one of those books that I put it down and I gave it three stars and I really enjoyed it but since I've put it down, I cannot stop thinking about it. I keep thinking about these characters and they're really playing on my mind. I definitely want to pick up one of Gillian Flynn's other books. It's such a short book, but it's got so much depth behind it and behind the characters. I just want to talk about it forever. So please, if you have read this book, comment down below and let's discuss it. Um, maybe put in a spoiler warning if you're going to go into spoilers and things like that. Thank you so much for watching, like, comment, subscribe if you want to and I will see you all next time. Goodbye!